stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. The conclusion of Game of Thrones remains one of the most talked about finales in TV history, sparking widespread debate and controversy over its eight season journey. In its final moments, the iconic Iron Throne was destroyed, symbolizing the end of an era where rulership was determined through conquest and bloodlines. Bran Stark, portrayed by Isaac Hempstead Wright, ascended as the unexpected choice for the new King of Westeros, while his sister Sansa Stark, played by Sophie Turner, claimed sovereignty over the North, establishing it as an independent kingdom. Meanwhile, Jon Snow, portrayed by Kit Harington, faced exile once again, this time venturing beyond the Wall with the Wildlings, while Arya Stark, portrayed by Maisie Williams, set sail towards the uncharted territories of the West in pursuit of new adventures. Today on Screen Rant, we'll be going through the Game of Thrones ending and exploring the major events and character resolutions that define the conclusion of one of television's most iconic series. But before we dive in, here are some key summaries to take away on the ending of Game of Thrones. Daenerys' downfall and death mirrored that of her father, Aerys II, with both being betrayed by a Lannister and ultimately leading to the end of the Targaryen line. Bran Stark becomes the new ruler of Westeros, chosen by the Lords and Ladies of the Seven Kingdoms due to his powerful story and ability to remember and tell Westeros' history. Jon Snow, revealed to be a Targaryen and with a stronger claim to the Iron Throne, is exiled to the Night's Watch, returning to the North where he finally finds peace. She knows who you are. Who you really are. You'll always be a threat to her. Although some fans had hoped for Jon and Daenerys to rule as a harmonious duo, the show's bittersweet essence demanded an alternate resolution. Nonetheless, numerous cherished characters managed to endure, albeit amidst contentious narrative trajectories. Showrunners were confronted with the formidable challenge of concluding myriad storylines within a mere six episodes, spanning from vanquishing the White Walkers to determining the fate of Westeros' governance. Even now, long after its broadcast, discussions persist regarding the merits and drawbacks of the finale. The ending echoes past events in Westeros history, notably with Daenerys Targaryen's demise mirroring that of her father, Aerys II. Her betrayal by a Lannister echoes the circumstances of Aerys' downfall. Drogon's destruction of the Iron Throne symbolizes the end of the Targaryen dynasty, with Jon Snow's exile representing the final chapter of their rule. The ascension of Bran Stark to the throne marks a departure from hereditary monarchy, with the lords and ladies of Westeros choosing their ruler. Sansa's insistence on northern independence underscores the shifting power dynamics. This resolution completes the Stark family's journey from tragedy to triumph, symbolizing their resilience in the face of adversity. Almost seems like divine justice. There's no divine justice, you dumb cunt. If there was, you'd be dead. In George R.R. R. Martin's upcoming book, a Dream of Spring. Viewers glimpsed a hopeful future symbolized by a green plant emerging from the snow as Jon journeys north with the wildlings. While Game of Thrones hinted at an impending and severe winter, the defeat of the Night King and the White Walkers suggested that Westeros might experience its shortest winter yet. Since the confirmation of the R plus L equals J theory, speculations arose about Jon's potential claim to the Iron Throne, given his lineage as the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. However, Jon's banishment to the Night's Watch following Daenerys' death rendered such speculations moot. Despite never aspiring to kingship, Jon's existence as a rival claimant contributed to Daenerys' descent into madness, culminating in her demise at his hands. Jon's return to the Night's Watch completes a cyclical journey, reminiscent of his initial desire to defend the Wall in Season 1. Finding solace beyond the Wall, Jon seems at peace, despite leaving behind the trauma of his past including the difficult decision to end Daenerys' life. They don't get to choose. In the early days of Game of Thrones, the Lannisters wielded significant influence in King's Landing, with King Robert Baratheon. Frustrated by their pervasive presence, their power was underscored by the Crown's indebtedness to Casterly Rock, Cersei's manipulation of the Baratheon lineage, and Jaime's role in the Kingsguard. Even Robert Squire, a Lannister, played a part in the King's tragic demise during a hunting trip gone awry. As the series concluded, Tyrion, the last surviving Lannister, found his siblings dead in the Red Keep, 
leading him to inherit the title of Lord of Casterly Rock once more. Despite objections from Grey Worm, Tyrion was reinstated as Hand of the King under Bran's rule. Though his past actions caused discord, Tyrion endeavored to make amends, forming a small council composed of trustworthy individuals, including Bronn as Master of Coin, Ser Davos as Master of Ships, Sam Tarly as Grand Maester, and Brienne as Commander of the Kingsguard. This small council, while not without flaws and lacking certain positions, represented a positive change for Westeros, with Tyrion at its helm working to mend past mistakes and usher in a new era of stability under Bran's reign. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, I'd plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool when the king died. Arya Stark's departure from Winterfell with Sandor Clegane marked her rejection of safety for the allure of adventure, a trait she had shown before when she refused Brienne's rescue attempt. Instead, she ventured to Essos to train with the Faceless Men. Having transformed into a lethal assassin capable of killing the Night King, Arya's return to a simple life as a Lady of Winterfell seemed unlikely. Even Gendry's offer of marriage, which would have united Stark and Baratheon houses, was refused as Arya declared herself no lady. Her final scene sailing into the sunset hinted at significant implications, suggesting the possibility of encountering other Starks awaiting her on distant shores. The journey mirrored that of King Brandon the Shipwright, an ancient Stark ancestor who sailed west across the Sunset Sea and never returned. While his fate remains uncertain, Arya's voyage symbolized hope for the future, much like Jon's journey beyond the Wall. We could throw books at his men. We don't have that many books. We don't have that many men either. The Unsullied, once slave soldiers liberated by Daenerys, remained fiercely loyal to her throughout Game of Thrones. Before the Battle of Winterfell, Grey Worm and Missandei, Daenerys' advisors, planned a life beyond war. Missandei expressed a desire to revisit her birthplace, the beaches of Nath, and Grey Worm decided to accompany her. Despite Missandei's tragic execution, Grey Worm resolved to honor their plans, announcing to the Unsullied their intention to journey to Nath. There, they might continue Daenerys' legacy by safeguarding the island from slavers, ensuring that no others suffer the fate Missandei endured. Alternatively, they may choose to embrace freedom and lead simple lives as civilians. I still enjoy it when they call me my lord. The thrill of fate. If we live that long. The Game of Thrones ending has faced widespread criticism for its unexpected twists that seemingly diverge from established character arcs. Daenerys Targaryen's rapid descent into madness and the abrupt shift to Bran Stark as ruler were perceived as rushed and messy, disrupting the deliberate pacing and rich dialogue of earlier seasons. Fans hope that George R. R. Martin's book series will offer a different, more satisfying conclusion, potentially providing deeper context to the controversial ending. The upcoming House of the Dragon series may also offer redemption by exploring untold aspects of the story. Despite the disappointment, the conclusion marks both an end and a new beginning for beloved characters. With spin-offs like House of the Dragon and a sequel series for Jon Snow in development, there's potential to reshape and enhance the legacy of Game of Thrones, offering viewers renewed hope for the franchise's future. While the Game of Thrones finale has its detractors, it serves as a catalyst for reflection and discussion. As new spin-offs explore different facets of the Westeros universe, the legacy of the series continues to evolve, offering fresh perspectives on familiar themes and characters. And with that, we wrap up our exploration of Game of Thrones ending explained. Stay tuned for future updates as we delve into new theories and twists. Be sure to check back regularly for more exciting content, only on Screen Rant.